almost daily live video uh, where I talk about fish and uh, other stuff anything related with aquariums so this is my quarantine station from professional fish keepers uh, today I'll be talking about a really cool angel that you don't see very often it's called the gold tail angel or um, uh, Palmacanthus chrysurus or just chrysurus angel so let me show you what I'm talking about it's beautiful um, every maybe once see uh, through the year we might get four or five uh, I have a little one so let me show you how the juvenile looks how the adult looks I don't have the adult but I got pictures of it so let me show you so let me just turn on the light of the little fish studio one of these days I might do a video how, on how I take pictures to the fish and this little uh, fish studio uh, it's a uh, it helps so let me flip the camera so right there there it is that's a juvenile Chrysurus angel the close-up it's not very happy but it is what it is it will just take a couple minutes and I'll put him back on his tank well actually I'm going to put him at the big coral one of the big coral tanks so I can see exactly what he eats and how reef safe he is and I'm not free safe he is because there's not a lot of information out there at all because this fish is not so common so this uh, where can we find them? what its origins are from South East Africa usually Kenya Gulf of Oman Madagascar all the way east northeast of Australia so you can find them in coral rich areas with a lot of live rock a lot of coral colonies so you will find them and uh, they grow about 10 inches this little one you can have them in a small tank about 100 gallons but wants to get about to about 10 inches 200 300 the bigger the better so they are semi aggressive um, but not as aggressive as a queen angel or a cortis angel so those two queens and quarters add them together at the very last at the less aggressive angels first and then the more aggressive ones towards the end and this one will kind of be towards the end uh, reef safe with caution they will definitely go after uh, sessile invertebrates like feather dusters and other worms like that cocoa worms clams tridacna clams yes they will nip at the mantle usually you can keep them with SPS and it will be fine uh, these blue stripes that you see on him they will keep them until they are adult so that's pretty cool a lot of people look at that when they get the juveniles so they will keep it let me show you so that's the adult you see the stripes that's a, a smaller uh, a little bit different so there's small variations depending on where they are collected and this is a hybrid this is very rare so this is a hybrid between the chrysurus and the maculosus and I'll show you how a maculosus angel looks like uh, there's no sexual dimorphism or differences in colors between the males and the females uh, usually if you want to sex them in aquaculture you got to put a little tube in a cloaca suck and you might find sperms or eggs and then you know if it's a male or a female uh, usually these are kind of expensive so a small one like this one goes around 200 and the large one a show one will go for a uh, thousand dollars or so so it's a, it's a collector's uh, fish so let me catch them and I'm going to put them in this little cubicle and I'll show you how a Maculosus looks like and I'll give you also an update on the Asper Angel that I have on the coral tank uh, and we go from there and I will show you which coral tank he's going in so let me put him back
it's a closer image it's a beautiful beautiful fish look at that So he's back at his little cubicle and it's pretty much done. I'm pretty much done with the quarantine on him and it will be going into a big show tank and then I'll catch him from there. So those ones, actually I got two maculosus. Tiny one, a juvenile, very small. And then a juvenile, that's a juvenile also that is converting into the adult coloration. So they, those are angels that also get pretty big. Let me show you the, actually, I will do that in a different video where I talk about the S4 Angel and uh, I'll show you exactly uh, what corals and what it doesn't eat on my experience. And I'll be talking very soon, I kind of like this uh, filtration, some filtration systems by eShops. So I'll be talking about these sumps soon and I'll be doing a review on this S120 protein skimmer so I'll be setting up a smaller tank and we'll follow the evolution of that tank with this uh, S120 this will be a big seahorse tank will be uh, ready soon that's a real reef rock so a lot of cool stuff so stay tuned at the live videos and the other thing that I'll be doing I had somebody from India asking me how I quarantine and all that since I have a huge quarantine station I'll be writing a little guide and it will be available for purchase for anybody in the world so you can know how to quarantine commercially and as a hobbyist also commercially there's nothing really hands-on experience telling you how to quarantine so I'll be sharing some of my tips experience so this will save you a lot of money if you have a business and if you're a hobbyist it will save you also a lot of money and we're not going to need to lose as many fish thank you very much for watching subscribe comment and i'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow thank you